the key driver for these changes is to make the bus a more convenient option for people so that they can leave their car behind and actually get into the city. A lack of direct bus routes into Tauranga CBD from nearby suburbs has traditionally put many locals off using the service. But a new network refresh hopes to change that. We changed the network in December 2018 and nearly three years have elapsed so it is certainly now time for a refresh and we have been listening to the community who tell us that they don't like to uh, transfer buses for journeys that they believe should be direct so we have taken that on board by introducing the Route 2 which effectively means now we have that all day uh, service from Papamoa through Bayfair to Tauranga CBD without the need for that transfer. While it's a step in the right direction, the refresh doesn't quite reach the residents of Papamoa East. From Papamoa East, passengers will still need to transfer buses at Bay Fair, but we have introduced a frequent service number five, which means that that transfer should be uh, reasonably seamless. But from Papamoa Plaza, there will be an hourly direct service in the day. Rush hour congestion and never ending roadworks are other barriers to catching the bus. There's a perception um, that it's slower, but it doesn't have to be. And um, one thing we did in 2018 when we started this service, we actually increased the bus numbers by 35%. So we've put a lot more buses on the road uh, to, to try and get a really good service, so now we have to get the people to use the buses, that's going to be our challenge. With farmers opening, the CBD is going to become a more attractive place to come and visit, so we are certainly looking for our buses to provide that uh, uh, sustainable travel option. It's not a silver bullet, but it's a really good start. Uh, we have ambitions to get a lot more people onto buses from single occupancy private car and this is the first stage in that journey but we'll be looking to do a similar refresh exercise for the rest of the Tauranga network uh, in 2022 and then in the medium to longer term we will be introducing more frequent services to more destinations particularly as developments such as Taurico uh, and along the Teipapa Peninsula come on stream. Last year's introduction of the BCAD system has helped guide these new initiatives. Well the beauty of the BCAD is that it's giving us really good on and off the bus data so that we know where people are going and where they're coming from. And with Covid now creeping into the bay, the council says taking the bus is a safe option if health advice is followed. At the end of the day, people are going to be in proximity to each other in a whole range of settings, whether it's in cafes, in the workplace or on a bus. And a bus really is no different, so although someone might feel they're safe in a car, sooner or later they are going to be exposed to other people. So we're simply saying the bus is no different to any other situation where you're going to be uh, in close proximity to people and if you are vaccinated and you do wear a mask you give yourself the best possible opportunity not to get Covid. Vaccine mandates for bus drivers are still being discussed. There are some discussions uh, at the Ministry of Transport and NZ Transport Agency level about whether um, vaccines can become mandatory for bus drivers. Now that could be only bus drivers who drive school kids or it could be all bus drivers. No firm decision has been made at the moment so uh, it's still something that national government would need to provide a, a lead on. You can find out more at baybus.co.nz. Gavin Ogden, Local Focus.